the orange one here so uh yeah our fleet is not doing great if you look at our combat readiness it's currently at 44 percent for us 28 23 24 and 5. so we're basically not going to be able to get into a fight um in the last episode you may have noticed that there was an unidentified contact right there we want to get away from that asap I don't know if they've seen us, but I feel like they have. And I'm not willing to take that risk right now. Um, we've kind of looted a good chunk of what is around here. What we could do is we could survey some things. I think we probably just want to get out of here. That's probably the smart thing to do right now. And... It looks like we managed to do exactly that. I think we're going to turn on this sustained burn and get going. And we might want to see about... Um, I kind of want to refit something. I want to see if we can um, make us go faster. And Right now our top speed's 119. We we just need to go faster if we're gonna do anything in a, in a fight. So our weapon range will be reduced. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. So what do we need to do? We need to um how much do we need? So we're going to generate a lot of flux, but we might be able to stay in a fight. Yeah, I think that that's probably what we want to go with for now. Let's see if we can... We've got two character points that we could spend, it looks like. Uh, we probably want to... I don't know what I want to do. I think maybe we might want to start going into loadout design. Yeah, I think we want to do that. And then if we look at our fleet and we look at our commander, they should be able to level up. Yep. Damage control. Or Helmsman. Let's go with Helmsman. That speed is just going to be worth it. And then, oh, you get another one. Uh, Helmsman 2. Yeah, let's do that. Sweet. So you're going to be super fast with that. I actually want to stick you on this, and then I could take your ship, and then this would actually be a decent speed. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's a... Uh... How would I do that? I'm not sure how I would uh, change the... Uh which is my ship versus theirs. I know how to do it um, at the beginning of a battle, so we'll just do it at the beginning of a battle if I remember, at least. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at what we got around us. Didn't I... Oh, so there's a ship orbiting a gas giant. Oh, so we haven't actually completed this yet. So we need to go probably to that gas giant. But there was something down here, so we need to go probably up and around. Yeah, so let's be careful. We actually, I think, I think we have enough supplies to do this. As long as we don't get into a fight. We actually might do better off in the next fight if our Cerebus actually recovers a little bit. 
Yeah, I know. Our ships are not looking great. Yeah, we just need to be really careful. We just don't want to get ourselves in a fight. Let's just do a little sensor burst. Uh, where was that? It's like down there. There's something down there, so we'll go to like here. Yeah, uh, loan supplies. So I think we're going to be able to survey this ship at right, this gas giant. And then we should get out of here. I actually don't know if we have enough supplies to get back. We might do best to just get into the jump point and get out of here. There's an unidentified entity. I think that's what we're looking for. Oh, there's actually a number of unidentified entities. Um, there's a couple possibilities. They could be fleets or they could be derelict ships. Knowing that we're looking for a derelict ship, I'm just going to go dark and investigate. Derelict ships. Nice. Okay, so as long as there's not an actual fleet, uh, there is. Have they seen me? They might see me, I'm not sure. Hmm. We're getting dangerously low on supplies. This is a venture class cruiser. I don't know if they're gonna see us or not if we go in and investigate. They're dormant. Um, I think we need to salvage it, even if... At least we got 12 more supplies. We only want 8 of those. And I, I suppose we could take the extra metals, but... Yeah. Let's just take all the metals. Maybe we can just go right here to the orbital station. I think the other thing is dormant as well. Yes, okay, we got supplies. That's exactly what we needed. And hey, we got some other good things as well. An alpha core? What? Okay. Things just went from really bad to really good. Let's get rid of all the metal. I'm gonna take those machines. Uh, the armaments. That. Uh, Hegemony is not gonna be happy if we take those. Kind of hard not to though. And that's 20, this is 100. We'll do something like that. And then I'm going to try and get out of here without those things waking up. Nice. Okay, that is... That is fantastic. And now we actually have our ships at decent combi combat readiness. So they actually... So we could actually fight that one that's right there. We could try and entangle with them and see what we get. And we will get... Um, and we could... We're not going to get too much from enemy ship stuff, but... I feel like we should do it 
just to get ourselves some experience. It's like an easy enemy. It's just one of them. We should be faster this time. And hey, we've even got more money. I feel like if we can just fight the one, we can do it. Their friend gets involved. It's not good. Yeah, we can do this. Uh, I would like to be in charge of that, maybe. But will that switch? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, let's just let's stay in control of ours. And the Cerebus, I'm not sure if I even really want it to fight. I, mean, I don't really need it. The other things seem to be able to take one out. Yeah. Let's not bring the Cerebus in. And I'm just going to put us in autopilot for now. Hopefully our boosted speed makes it so that we can actually, you know, deal with this. We'll see. And we seem to be moving faster. It could just be me seeing things, but I think we are. No, we are definitely moving faster. Nice. Okay, we can actually deal some damage to this thing. Oh. Maybe I should switch. No, this... Right, that doesn't even do anything for us. They're too far away. And we can kind of... Yeah, a smattering of hits in here and there. Okay, yeah, we got it. Yeah. Okay, that was not too bad. Go ahead and stop. An AI core for sure. Uh, infrared pulse laser. That that's actually got some range on it. Might want to see if we can install that on our ship. Let's continue. If I go to our ship, can I refit it? Um, and that's got 600 and 600 range. That's got 500 range. If I wanted to switch out the light assault cannon, um, that actually can't get any energy on it. That actually has range 700. So that'd be an anti-shield thing compared to this, which is also, also anti-shield, but it's got way worse range. Oh, actually, so we could go from point defense to, yeah, we could do railgun, or we could do this, which is just everything. I think we want to get the shields down. We got a mining laser. I think I want the railgun because it gives me more range. Oh, but it's too big. It's a 7. Um, yeah, I don't know how I get the 7s on here. Would I have to, like, get rid of something? Can I even do that? Can I get rid of that and then... No, I can't. That's that three that was on there. Ooh, we could get a finisher. That's tempting. 
Because, I mean, those other things are completely worthless in my mind. Um, we go with that, or the thing that we had on it before. Let's go with infrared, and then this. Yeah, we'll do like that. And let's look at the weapon groups. So we can have yeah, ion cannon and pulse laser. That's on four. Harpoons on two. Light machine gun. An auto cannon. Uh, I think that that's good. Got my light assault gun and dual auto cannon. Those should both be on at the same time, right? Yeah, the light assault gun. Well, one is armor and one is shields. So that we could use to take down shields. And that takes down armor. This also, if we can get that involved, is going to take down shields. Oh, so our left side will be like our anti shield side, and then this will be like our anti armor side. Probably means we should get the harpoon on that side, but I think we're okay. Okay, it's gonna be kind of complicated to fly the ship because we got so many different weapon systems on it, but I think it's okay. Our combat readiness is kind of low, so we probably don't want to go for the other robot that was here. Is it debris field? What is this? Come over here. Pretty sure this is a debris field. may not be easy to get. There's significant risk. Does that mean that there's risk of combat? I think that there's um, no need for us to push our luck now. Let's just get to the gate and get out of here. There is, uh, yeah, we don't want to engage with that, so let's go over here. We'll go to the gate. Let's go ahead and get a sustained burn. And we're pretty much at the gate now. So let's look at our at the systems around us. Uh, let's find something that's inhabited. Um, not E. We want to go to I think it's uh, what M? No, not M. It's not command. Yeah, but that's not that until map is tab. Okay, so we want to go. What's inhabited? Naraka. So we could go sell things there. The he hegemony is not going to be happy about the heavy armaments that we're carrying, though. There's an independent station there. Also an independent icy rock, rock ice world. I think we want to go here. Let's look at where the station... Yeah, that that's what we want to do. We want to go there. Lake course for there, because we have some stuff that um, Hegemony is not going to be too happy about us having. And let's go sustain burn. Get into space. Hyperspace. That is not just regular space, but hyperspace. It's way better. We're gonna go straight into the storm. We're looking here, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go through the storm. We could go through by Naraka. We could try and get through the storm like right here. Um, why don't we do that? Let's see if we can turn. We're going straight into the storm, huh? Yeah, we're okay there. Good. Then we'll go through here. It's not lighting up. I think we're okay, and there's actually 
something that's flying unidentified, so we don't want to get anywhere near that. Oh well, there's a lot of new intel here. We got a ton of different missions. Anything that I want to take... Those are pretty far out there, but I mean we are kind of going that way anyways. Um, smugglers. We could do some bounty hunting and just get some of combat experience done in there. That'd be relatively easy for us to do. Okay, so let's just let's try and get rid of our armaments and AI cores that we we're carrying with us. And we'll let the autopilot go. Maybe not. No, let's not let autopilot take us through the storms. We'll go around like that. And I think there's something coming for us there. Um, brings us to a near stop. I think we don't want to go to a near stop. I think close to our destination. If we need to, we'll do emergency burn. I don't think we will. Yeah, we're okay. We just need to not get, um... Oh yeah, uh, turn transponder on and then jump. Probably want to do that in civilized space. And I think... I can't remember what, uh... That tutorial was saying, if we... Should have our transponder on for this or not. Let's not have our transponder on. And we'll just go into the rocks here for a little bit and send out a little beacon. Good, slow down. Scan, see if there's anything. It looks like there's not. But I think we'll be able to do our illicit activities here. Um, go to the black market and we're gonna Get rid of all that 4K right there. Um, we could also make some nice amounts of money right here. So that's 150 right there. So if I open the comm directory and talk to the boss, no, they're not who I would need to talk to. Quartermaster? No. Uh, no, so they don't want to sell or buy my AI stuff. Okay. Um, anything that you will buy from, from me? I think probably want to sell the volatiles. I think I'm going to use the black market because I want to get some cash right now. Um, I feel like we should sell these weapons as well because they're just taking up space. I think I'm going to keep the rail guns because that's awesome. Maybe we'll keep... Uh, let's get rid of the light machine guns. And... Oh geez, my phone is talking to me. I don't know if you even heard that. Oops. Um, there's a, a ship blueprint. Um, <laughs> I feel like we're really enabling some bad things to happen if we give that to these guys.
And we're going to get some serious cash right now. Can I? I can sell that, these guys. Man, we're gonna we're gonna make some money. Gonna make some serious money right here. Oh my god. What ships do you guys have for sale? Because <laughs> uh, we might be in the market to buy some stuff. Now that we've got 270k, uh, there's a mule right there. It's damaged though. I'm gonna shriek. Uh, but these are, you know, like a shriek would be nice. But they're all damaged. Like all these ships are damaged. I don't think I want damaged ships. I want to go to the he hegemony. Yeah, we just made so much money there. That's insane. Go ahead and turn that on. Let's get a sustained burn going. Do, go to Ankara. Pretty sure that's where I want to go. God, those pirates are going to be very powerful now. You'd expect, at least. Is this uh, debris? Actually, hold on, guys. It's just... We've got a pretty much empty hole right here, so let's go ahead and scavenge. Yeah, let's do that. Go ahead, take it all. And you know what we should have probably done is level up, because we got another level up there. I should have leveled up and done that before we did that. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and level that up, because we can. And let's go to our fleet. Can you level up? No, you cannot. We should probably get some other commanders at least. Okay, go ahead and resume. I'm excited to see what we can buy. I don't even know what we should buy. Like, I don't know enough about the game to know what would be a good purchase, but I think... You know, that salvaging operation just got us enough money to do some serious bounty hunting, so I think I want to buy some combat ships and learn how to transfer ownership. Uh, let's go ahead and let's look at what we can buy ship-wise. All these look fairly damaged. I mean, the nebula would let's carry some people. Yeah, they don't have a lot of great stuff. And we could buy some stuff off the black market. There's a freight that's been modified there. Uh, a light carrier. Hmm. So many choices. I mean, that just looks cool. It's like total pirate ship. But, uh, that would be good for um, transporting illicit goods, kind of, because it's a pirate ship. Um, I think, but maybe not. I'm not sure. And that'd be good for doing transportation of goods, for sure. It'd be good for our uh, salvaging kind of playthrough, I think. That and like a tanker. A light carrier might be good too. Because wasn't our. No. I'm thinking about my other. Uh, let's play. Or not let's play, my personal. Uh, game before I started this one. Hmm. Okay, well. It's been about a half an hour, so I think it's a good point to end this, and I might do some shopping around at some other places for some bigger, better, better ships, you know? <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.